Why is every kind of LIDAR? What is every kind of LIDAR? Every. Wow. Every. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to answer every because there's all kinds of different kind of LIDAR, but let me, let me take a shot at it. Um, he's as many LIDAR as you know of. Well, let me tell you the way you can think about the different kinds of LIDAR. How about that? So, so, so for those of you who don't know, LIDAR is a, is a sensor we use to measure how far things are in the world, like Dominic asked just a few minutes ago. Uh, and so there's two really important parts of a LIDAR. So one is, how do we measure how far away stuff is? And the other is, how do we point the light, the laser, in the right direction? So let me talk about those two different parts. So for the, for the measurement part, um, there's kind of two basic ways to measure. So one is, you take a super bright pulse of infrared light. Now it's infrared, so even though it's super bright, we don't see it with our normal eyes. Um, and that little pulse, and it's super short. So it's, um, let's say it's a few, probably picoseconds long, maybe nanoseconds long. So it's really like, it's way faster than a snap of my fingers, like way, way faster. Um, and that pulse of light goes out, hits something in the world and bounces back. And because it's traveling at the speed of light, which is constant, uh, we can measure how long it takes for that pulse to go out and back. Uh, and that gets us um, a, a, a distance because we can take that velocity and, and multiply divide it. We do some math um, to get the, the, the how far away the thing is. And that's called a kind of an AM LIDAR. And so that's pretty cool. Um, the problems and challenges with that are that, well, there's a lot of really, what's something really bright outside? The sun. Yeah, exactly. And so if you look at the, in the direction the sun is, it's really bright. And so if you try and send a bright pulse out, it's going to get overwashed by the sun because it's really bright too. Um, so there's a really smart thing that a bunch of our people in, uh, at Aurora in Bozeman have been working on, which is called a frequency modulated uh, continuous wave LIDAR. And so instead of sending one pulse out, they send out kind of like a, a waveform, just a constant wave that looks like this, which I can't see if you can see, but it kind of goes out in the world and that thing goes off and hits a wall and bounces back. Uh, and then we figure out, we look at kind of where the two different, where the peak is for the thing that, of the wave that went out and the peak of the wave that came back. And we kind of see the difference between the two. And from that, we can figure out how far away something is because we know how, how long those big, those big waves are. And so it turns out what's really cool about this is, well, it turns out the sun isn't shooting kind of these nice wavy things. It's just blaring as bright as it can. And so we can kind of ignore the, that, that part and just look for the wavy part. And the other thing is, have you heard a siren go by your house? Like a police car go by your house or a fire truck? I have. You have? Late at night, I have when I was going to sleep, I have. Yeah, and you know what it kind of sounds like, right? It kind of goes, right, or something like that, I guess. I can't, I can't do sirens that go by, but you hear how, they, how it changes the sound as it goes by? Mm -hmm. Well, that, that change in sound lets you know whether it's coming towards you or away from you, right? You can kind of, if you ever stood at the side of the road when a police car goes by, it changes noise as it goes past. Well, what's really cool about this FMCW frequency modulated thing is that we can do the same thing by looking at the light as opposed to listening to it. And we can figure out if something's moving away or towards us. And not just if it is, but how fast it is. So that's super cool. So those are the two main ways that you can think about measuring the world, um, like the measurement part. And then there's maybe three ways I talk about for how we can steer, maybe four ways we've talked about how you could put the light that you're using to measure in different places in the world. So one is, um, you could take a single beam of light and you could bounce it off some mirrors uh, that you then you kind of bend the mirrors or, or tilt the mirrors and that steers the light where you want it to go in the world. Um, so, so that's one way. So you just kind of point the light exactly where you want. Um, another way you can do it is you can take a bunch of those lights and you can mount them on something and you can just spin that thing. And that's pretty cool because, you know, it just goes round and round and round. So it's a little easier to make maybe. Just like that, um, and you get to see the world. And then there's a couple other neat things. So one, uh, another neat one is you can you can actually put shoot the light into something, and then electrically 
you can adjust the kind of the the um, um, the way the light travels through that material, and then you can steer the beam using that, which is pretty cool. Um, and then the fourth way I'd say is that you can just shoot light everywhere, uh, and kind of like a camera, which has an array of pixels uh, that you use to capture a picture of the world. You can you know have an array of measurement devices that measure the light coming back into them and get this uh, this dense picture. Now it turns out the last one is super, the last two are actually super hard. No one does that super well right now. But the first two are used by a bunch of different lighting companies out there. So does that help? I know oh. I know a couple of, of types of LIDAR. Chicken bucket and pin. <laughs> dad, you don't know him. My dad totally told me about them. Sure. Even <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Ronan. Have a good day. Okay, bye. <laughs>